the armed forces of the Russian Federation and Ukraine reported the front-line progress. The armed clashes between two sides had occurred in some areas, May 25th. In Donetsk direction, units, aviation, and artillery of the Yug group of forces have eliminated up to 270 Ukrainian troops, three armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, and one D-30 howitzer during the day, said Igor Konoshenkov the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson. Moreover, two ammunition depots of the 80th Air Assault and 110th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been annihilated close to Stopochka and Avdivka. In total, the armed forces of Ukraine lost 429 fighter jets and 235 helicopters, 4,321 unmanned aerial vehicles, 424 anti-aircraft missile systems, 9,298 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,100 combat vehicles equipped with multiple launch rocket systems, 4,901 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,447 units of special military hardware have been destroyed during the special military operation, said Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson, May 25th. The other side from Kyiv. The armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement said Russia lost 500 servicemen in a single day, including three tanks, eight armored combat vehicles, as well as 20 artillery systems and 36 drones. In total, Moscow lost 205,260 servicemen during Russia have been launching full-scale aggression into Ukraine territories. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 456 days. There is till no settlement agreement between two sides. Ukraine also shows footage of the Sea King helicopter on going to Kyiv. The Sea King previously belonged to the Royal Naval Forces of Great Britain and was previously transferred to Ukraine as part of the ongoing support of Ukraine by the United Kingdom. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like. Subscribe dan share ya!